I'm Ken Spears, head brewer and owner at Copper Bottom Brewing in Montague, PEI. Today we're brewing our anniversary beer. Yeah, I was inspired um, into craft beer working at Propeller in uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. I uh, worked there on their bottling line in the early 2000s and um, just fell in love with the, the process and the industry. I got some help from um, the owner there. He would let me take yeast home from the brewery um, and sort of guide me on some of my recipes. Uh, that was a long time ago. Um, I went off and became an electrician after that and then decided to move back into brewing. Um, the recipe formulation is something that takes a lot of uh, uh, trial and it's fun research though. For me it was about a five-year process yeah and that includes uh, you know developing the recipes. I had a, a pilot system at home in my barn uh, that I uh, assembled from various pieces around and uh, uh, pumps and, and tubing and stuff and I, I used that to develop the the first recipes that Copper Bottom put out which was our broadside APA and our Centennial Stock Blonde. We're, we're here on a, in a rural town on a, on a small island uh, in the Maritimes, so getting our name out there is important, especially if we want to get into export. So today we've got um, Kevin Wernick and uh, Nicole Mooring. Mooring. Uh, these are, are two of our brewers, amazing brewers, uh, passionate, hardworking, and uh, they're, they're, they're in it for the right reasons. So our, our grain comes in in 25 kg bags and we, uh, we dump it in this mill here um, and it gets crushed. Um, the recipes are made up of different grains, different colors, um, so that's how you get the different colors in the beer. Um, and the crushed grain and drops into this thing, this is called a grist case, uh, and from here we can bring it up and, and use it in the brew house. And, and the brew house is where the, the wort production happens. Yeah, so this is the, the mash tun, and this is where the grains uh, steep with the uh, hot liquor. Um, so there's a false bottom about here, and uh, that allows us to draw off the wort and transfer it over to our kettle, leaving behind a, a bed of, uh, of crushed, uh, soaked, malted barley. So after here it gets transferred through this uh, piping system over to the uh, boil kettle uh, where it boils here from anywhere between an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and that, this is where the hops are added um, and different, at different stages of the boil. So you boil hops or the mid-boil hops or the end of boil hops. And they do different things to the, the outcome of the beer. It's not until it gets over into the fermenters that it actually becomes beer. Fermentation, I would say, is the, the longest step. Uh, can take anywhere from three to seven days to ferment a batch of beer out. And, and when I say ferment, I mean the yeast going to work and chewing out all the sugars, uh, making uh, alcohol. Um, so that's the process. That's sort of the magic of, of brewing happens in the fermenter. So people say that uh, brewers make wort and yeast makes beer. Um, if you're making a lager, you're going to ferment at a lower temperature. Um, there's some yeasts uh, that people have recently cultivated that want to ferment at extremely high temperatures. Um, so it, it's a lot to do with the, uh, with the type of beer that you're trying to make. So at every step in the process in brewing, and this is why 
I fell in love with brewing, there's things that you can tweak that are going to affect the, uh, the finished product. Uh, right from the temperature and, and, and uh, of the water in the mash tun to the volume of the water in the mash tun, uh, the length of the boil, um, and that's not even talking about all the different types of grain that you can use and, and hops and boil times for the hops. Um, it really is endless, it, uh, at, right from the very beginning through to the end. Any sort of um, change in the, the temperature, time, or ingredients will change the finished product. Just going to degas it and then take a reading on it and check what our gravity is and our pH. Then we're basically figuring out if this beer is done. In the beginning, and I can only speak for me, um, there was a lot of a lot of that, a lot of tr trying recipes over and over, having friends taste them, getting feedback, tweaking recipes. Um, we did a collaboration with the Czech uh, uh, brewmaster, and they brew a bit different over in the Czech Republic. They use a three-vessel brew house. Anyway, we tried to do on our two vessels what they do over there, and it did not work. So that beer, that beer, bit the dust. <laughs> These days, we know the equipment so well um, and the ingredients that we use, it's pretty predictable uh, how we alter the, the process to bring a beer to where we want it to be. Writing business plans and, and uh, cash flow statements was not my uh, was not in my skill set, so it took me quite a while to um, acquire those skills, find the right people to help me out, and sort of uh, get on my team. Um, that was a big part of opening the brewery for sure. It's a lot of stainless steel. It's capital intensive. Um, it's good quality stuff, and it's made here on the island, so we're really proud to to use it. So there's definitely a process in, in raising capital that uh, took quite a while, um, but uh, we had the, the, right, the right idea and the, and the right product and the right time. So we have six, uh, six beers in our core range. Um, we have our Broadside American Pale Ale, our Centennial Stock Blonde, our Rabble Rouser Red, uh, Blueberry Sour, um, Ken's Stout, and our uh, Parkman Ave Double IPA. I would say our flagship or our biggest seller is our um, American uh, uh, Pale Ale, our, our Broadside APA. That's a beer that we've been brewing since the beginning and it's, uh, it's become a, a real favorite on PEI. Uh, right out of the gate, we, uh, we took home a gold for a Broadside American Pale Ale in, um, at the Fredrickson Craft Beer Festival, so that's the Down East Brewing Awards. Uh, since then, we've won numerous uh, gold medals um, and, and uh, silver and bronze uh, throughout the last three years. Uh, most recently we won a, a silver for our Parkman Avenue Double IPA in the Canadian Brewing Awards on, on a national uh, level. It's about uh, creating relationships with, with uh, people, with buyers, and um, yeah, there's a lot of competition around and uh, everybody's making really good beer, so uh, you know, trying to, to get out there is, is, part, of, is part of the business. The, the Pr Prince Edward Island is a special place, I think, to a lot of people, and uh, I think it represents hardworking people um, uh, with a lot of heart and soul, and so that's what we try and embody here at the brewery. And um, um, so I think when people are choosing a product to drink, if they look to uh, places like Prince Edward Island, they'll be pleasantly surprised at the quality.